Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed and disorganized each week? Do you wish that you had a better system in place to better manage your time, prioritize your tasks, and keep more of a hold on your schedule? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the way in which I plan my week using Notion. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Adamu Shoyo, and I teach you how to get more time, life, and energy out of each day through meaningful and intentional productivity strategies. One of my most proudest and best productivity systems that I have in place is my weekly planning schedule. Before this, I never knew what I was doing from day to day, from hour to hour, and I just felt like I was being overcome with so much decision fatigue because I had so many thoughts racing through my head every day and I just really didn't know what exactly it was that I was supposed to start on or that I was supposed to be focusing on. That's why I created this system for me in order to better manage my time and better understand what is truly important to me this week what are the things that I really wish I could get done? And what are the things that realistically I won't get done, but I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. So let's break that down. The first thing I like to do is group my tasks into different buckets. So personally, I like to separate things between my nine to five, my business and my personal life. And I start to just create a bunch of different tasks that I want to get done for the given week that fall into each of those buckets. This really helps me zero in my focus and better understand what kind of week am I really going to have. For example, if I have a lot of things that I need to get done at work, then maybe I will pause on doing so much in my business or in my personal life, or if I'm not working, then that's time to really ramp up on getting as much done as I can for my business or my personal life. One of the reasons why I like doing this is because it can make your task list seem smaller and you can really just kind of figure out what exactly it is that needs to get done under these three or two or however many overarching buckets that you may have. Once I finish separating my tasks into those three overarching buckets, I eliminate the word task and start talking about them as goals. I find that reframing my to-do list or my task list into my goals list really makes me feel like every time I'm checking something off, I'm really accomplishing something because each and everything that I have on my task list or my to-do list is something that is helping me bettering my goal, whether it be for my business, whether it be for my career, or whether it just be for overall quality of life. And I like to break those three things down into good, better, and great goals. My good goals are gonna be the goals that I feel like are the ones that I really need to get done or the ones that I have to get done. And I feel like I can confidently leave feeling that I was the most productive that week because I got this set of those good goals done. Your better goals are gonna be kind of more of your stretch goals. They're gonna be the goals that if you are able to knock out so much of your good goals, early on in the week that maybe you'll tackle on your better goals because you just have a lot more free time or you are able to kind of move further along into what it is that you're working on. And the last one I have are the great goals. A lot of times these great goals aren't necessarily the things that I plan or hope or even really think that I'm gonna get done in that week, but they're things that I would really like to do or things that I have been putting off for so long that isn't necessarily as important as my good or my better goals, but they're things that if I were able to get this done, I am feeling really, really amazing about myself. And I want to know in the comments below, what are some of your good, better, and great goals for this week? Let's share and hold each other accountable. And now that you've already outlined your good, better, and great goals in each of the different areas or overarching themes of your life, it's time for you to assign a day to do each one. Now, this is the part I think is really, really important. So you're not operating off of this just monstrous list. You're really operating off of maybe three to five things that you've designated for yourself to get done each day as you start to work on checking things off your to-do list. Some of my personal recommendations is that you only give yourself three to five things to do 
each day. Anytime you're trying to do more of that, you're overwhelming yourself, you're really exhausting yourself, and a lot of times it makes the other days uh, throughout the rest of the week just not as easy and not as enjoyable. Another recommendation that I have is that you only assign yourself one large task. And what I mean by a large task is a task that's going to take you more than an hour to do. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of times those can be the most time consuming, the most mentally draining. And if you sign yourself too many of those to do, in a given day, a lot of times you're just gonna run out of steam towards the end. And it's good to have a good balance of the types of tasks on your to-do list so that the things that are really easy to check off, you can just check them off. And the things that you know that you need to set time to do, you can make sure that you carve out that time. It's important that you make sure that you're setting deadlines for yourself, even if those deadlines don't always end up happening but just allowing yourself to, you know, push through and really hold yourself accountable and making sure that you're really allocating enough time to get the things that you need to get done. Um, also, I recommend that you group some of your tasks. So for me, I like to try to do a lot of my personal tasks in the morning what, before I go to my nine to five and then I do to my nine to five tasks during while I'm working and then I tackle some of my business tasks in the evening. And that's just something that really works for me. It allows me to really stay focused on what is being done or what I need to get done um, while also making sure I have a little bit of balance and I'm not constantly context switching throughout the day. I thought it'd be really great to show you how I plan my week using one of the templates that I have on my Notion template shop. And this is the exact same method. It's just a lot cleaner and a lot easier for us to shift through. So already I'm going to specify the dates. I'll say from the 10th to the 16th is the week that I'm looking at. I personally like to start my days on Mondays but you can also adjust your settings in Notion to start it on Sunday if that's what you prefer. Now we're gonna look here at all the tasks that I have and we're just going to see this and start to map what it is that we wanna say are our good goals, what do we wanna say is our great goals, and what do we want to say is our better goals. So looking at my task, I'm going to say creating new projects and organizing tasks is my good goal for this week. And I'm going to say my better goal will to be buy concert tickets and go grocery shopping. And my great goals for this week will be to have some fun and create next week's to-do list. And then my things that are gonna get done regardless is submitting my time sheet. Now from there, we can already start to plan this out on the weekly view. So I have this select box where I just drag everything to the week that it needs to be. So I'm going to say having some fun. We'll say that I'm going to do that on Friday. We're going to buy concert tickets on Wednesday. We're going to submit my timesheet on Monday. We're going to organize my tasks on Monday creating new projects on Monday. And then we're gonna do both of these over the weekend. Now that we have that, we can start to set the due dates for all of these things. So I'm just gonna select all of this, edit the property due date and have that set to the corresponding Monday for that week. For Wednesday, I'm gonna set the due date to be the Wednesday of that week. And then from Friday, same thing. We'll set the due date to be the Friday of that week. For the weekend tasks, we will just set that due date to be 
that Saturday. And now you can actually see that on the week view as well in the calendar if you like to have it all laid out. And then also you have this drop down. So if you want to see just a list of your tasks based on the day, so you have Monday's task organized, you have Wednesday's, Wednesday's task, we have Friday's task, and then we also have the weekend's tasks. And I do this and repeat this step for my business, for my nine to five job, as well as for my personal life. And you just repeat the process over and over again, and it makes things so much simpler and a lot more straightforward. And then if you want, you can even take this a step further and take those tasks and figure out when in your Google calendar, for example, you'll actually do them. Let me know if you want a video on how I go about doing that, but that is pretty much how you do this just in Notion alone. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to grab this template, be sure to click the link in my description box and check out some of my other free and paid templates. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.